All right, over here I'm going to draw a graph H, and over here I'm going to draw a graph G. And we're going to determine if H is a subgraph of G. So this idea of subgraph is very similar to the idea of subset, though it's not exactly the same. Not exactly the same. The reason why it's not exactly the same is because a graph is two sets, right? A graph is defined by two sets, a set of vertices and a set of edges. And so, and so the definition I give here is more of an intuitive definition. And the way you look at it is you say, okay, can I take, if by deleting some of the, um, if by deleting some of the edges or vertices of G, can I get H? And in fact, that's true, right? If, if you were to take and delete this edge here, right, you would, exa you would get exactly H. So H is a subgraph of G. Now let's draw another H here. Let's draw this one. Now is H a subgraph of G? And in fact it is. Yes it is. Right. It doesn't seem like it is, but it is. Now think, remember what we were talking about before about how, when are two graphs the same? So this right here, this is the same as this graph. So you can, if you unwind it, think about taking this graph up off the page and switching the positions. Maybe we should give names to these, right? Let's say, um, V1, V2, V3, V4. This is V1 here, V2, V3, V4. Right now, think about if you were, if this was V1, V2, V3, and V4. Think about taking this think about taking this graph up off the page and re and swapping where v1 and v2 sit and and then you get exactly this graph here you could set this you could pick this graph up off the page swap the positions of v1 and v2 um, keeping the the edges touching V1 and V2 exactly how they are, and you could get exactly this graph. And so this graph here uh, can be created by deleting this edge here from G. And so they are in fact, so um, H is in fact a subgraph, still a subgraph of G. Oh, I don't know. Let's look at another one. Let's say, um, so is H a subgraph of G? And in fact, it is, right? If you were to, to delete this edge here, if you were to delete this red edge here, then in fact, you would get h right you could turn h into this thing over here by pulling this guy up a little bit over there and it would be the same thing 
So this guy, H is a subgraph of J. Well, let's look at another one. Let's say Let's look at this thing again, but now let's look at So now is H a subgraph of G? In fact, Yes, again, it is. So what I want you to see is that, let me mark these in red now. You can see those here. So if you were to delete this edge, the two edges in blue, you would get this so uh, wound up version of H. Now, if you want to label Let's label these, let's say this is one, vertex one, vertex two, vertex three, and vertex four. One, two, three, four. Now think about uh, pulling this red subgraph of G here up off the page, and you would, uh, and you flip the positions of one and two, and you would in fact get H. Let's do this one here. Oops, okay, same thing. What a disaster with this, huh? Okay, let me draw this again. One, two, three, one, two. All right, notice this is K32 there. This is K3. This is the complete, this over here is the complete graph on three vertices. This is the complete bipartite graph on three and two vertices. And so we wonder, is H a subgraph of G? And it's not, this is not a subgraph. This is not a subgraph. And so if you think, try and think about what, um, so what would you delete to get this thing? Well, let's see. Maybe you would delete, let's I'm gonna delete these guys here, and then you'd be left with this and this. But the problem is that, and let's say that, uh, let's say that these edges are these edges right here. The problem is, is that with a complete bipartite graph, you don't have edges between the things that are in the bipartite sets, right? So there's no edges, there's, there's no edge, this edge here, there's no way we would have an edge. That thing would not be there. All right, let's say, let's look at one more. Let's say, um, all right, here we have K5, here we have K3. 
Is K3 a subgraph of K5? And in fact, it is. Right, you can see in there lots of places where it's a subgraph. There's many places. Um, let's draw it here like this. And you can see that thing sitting right there. And no, there are many places where that thing is, right? So is K3 a subgraph of K5? Yes, it is. Why is that? Because you could delete some amount of vertices and edges So you could delete this and that and that and that and that, right? That would be it. Oh, but we still have that vertex. Well, we can delete that too. And now we have the same graph. Okay. 